week, I'm taking on the challenge of training like a CrossFit Games athlete for a whole week. So there are two sides to CrossFit. There's the local gyms, which are the affiliates, and then there's the competitive side. CrossFit is still a relatively new sport and the degree to which the athletes have increased in their performance and ability over the past 10 years is really incredible. Even back in 2009, for example, the women's deadlift started at 185 in a workout. Just in 2016, which was still three years ago, it bumped up from 185 to 275 pounds. That's almost 100 pounds more. It's just insane and the pros make it look effortless. So there is a big divide between people like me. I would consider myself above average in strength and conditioning. I train maybe three to five times a week. And then the professional athletes, like we're not even on the same planet. As I dive into this intense world of training this week, I know that I'm gonna be humbled and I'm gonna be challenged, but I also have some hope for some new personal records too. I retroactively accept all of your prayers as you're watching this video. And I would just love if you would like this video and subscribe to see more fitness challenges like this. Again, I want to remind you that fitness can be fun. I wanna try different ways of moving. There is no one right way to do things. Training is gonna look different for every single person as well as your nutrition. So just because someone has found the miracle fix, the it thing for them, doesn't always mean it's the right thing for you. So get out there, have fun, and try new things. Long time no see. My name is Cole Martinez. I am a 16-year-old, two times CrossFit Games athlete. I'm a worldwide competitor in the CrossFit world, and I've been the top five weightlifter in the national level for three times. So I started CrossFit in November of 2011. Uh, my mom had been running uh, marathons before that, and she had always had uh, this competitive drive, and um, she just stumbled upon CrossFit, and I went with her the first time she tried it out, and it basically just stuck from there. So um, we dragged my dad into this crazy thing a couple months after that, but I started with my mom in November of 2011, so I would have been about nine years old when I started. This week I spent a total of 18 hours total in the gym, so as you can imagine, there was a lot of footage that I want to share with you. I took a poll on Instagram and 78% said that you actually did want to see the exact workout that we did every single day. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and overview real quickly what each session looked like. And then at the end, I'll go over what we did day by day. Each session started with a really targeted mobility warm up, and we use this really cool app called GoWide Mobility. You can just input some of the movements that you're gonna be doing in your workout that day, and then it gives you a specific set of things to do to either maybe mobilize your shoulders or lower body with a band or with a ball. Um, we did some grip smash stuff and just things I'd never seen before, so I'm excited to take some of that back with me and use those things in my workout. Cole does have a really specific programming structure that he follows, and I'll actually share all of that and a couple other awesome resources for you guys down in the description below. After mobilizing and warming up our muscles, we then moved into the strength portion every single day. We did a back squat, three rep max, and a front squat, three rep max. We did a snatch complex, a max deadlift, which was huge for me. I haven't found a one rep deadlift in over three years. And we also did some gymnastics. I think he got like, 15 to 20 pull-ups, and I got a total of three. So I have some homework to do now. <laughs> After each strength session, we took a break as we gathered the equipment for our main workout. And some days that would last from eight to 12 minutes. Other days, the conditioning piece lasted for 20 to 30 minutes. Then we'd take another break before starting our second workout. These second workouts were usually testing some of my biggest weaknesses like push-ups and handstand walks mixed with a high heart rate cardio conditioning piece. Sometimes it was on the ski erg and then the bike or the rower or just running. We always finished with some sort of accessory piece as well. One day that was a grip test by hanging onto the rig and then holding kettlebells with no break in between. Another day it was midline work to strengthen abs and back and just every muscle group in between. Really the biggest challenge of the whole week was just mental. My body can only do what it can do, right? But my mind kept telling me that what you're doing is not good enough or this next thing you wanna try, you, you can't even do it. 
There were just a lot of moments where I didn't feel up to par. And I really try to be honest about those moments because it's easy to look at other people's health and fitness journeys. So I've captured some of those moments as they were happening just to remind myself what it feels like in the moment, but also to share that with you guys because that is a part of the journey. When y'all went inside, I kept talking to Mike and I was like, I don't know, kind of just trying to explain away why I feel like I did really poorly. Uh -huh. um, it was super all of my weaknesses today, but I mean, I hopped up on the the bar and thought like, oh, I'm going to do two or three unbroken muscle ups, and I did one and it was terrible and I almost didn't make it. <laughs> sure. Because I've been where you're at, like in that, in that workout, like where you are in that workout, I've so been there. I mean, even as recently as even the low lift throwdown, I got there on yeah. several workouts, but like, like and, and a competition, which is not where you want. You want to be like that in training, right? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, let's say you hit one bar muscle up and you wanted to hit three, like, well, all right, that's thrown out the window. I'm just going to hit singles as fast as I can now. Um, so, like, it's hard staying positive mentally in a workout yeah. when it's not going well, <laughs> especially when it's a weakness. Yeah. So, no, I, I understand. You're definitely, no one is alone in feeling that. Everyone has bad days like this. Yeah. Like, Katrin has bad days. Fraser has bad days. They, I mean, their bad days are still better than our best days, <laughs> but you know, they still have bad days. Yeah. I just, I am so overwhelmed with things that I have going on in my life. I have a lot of things I want to get done and I feel like this training this week, my whole life is revolving around that. I have a couple hours in the morning to get some things done. Um, but otherwise my entire rest of my day pretty much is taken up by training. It's been like three hours each day and then I go commute back home and then I shower and just try to like recuperate my body and I'm just exhausted the rest of the evening. All I can do is barely eat <laughs> and I guess I know that the difference between just working out and being healthy, that's not what training like a CrossFit Games athlete is. You have to train intentionally. Your entire priority, you may have other things going on in your day, but your priority is your workout and fueling well and nutrition. And you've just got to spend so much time in training that everything else just takes a back seat. And I'm really frustrated by that today. It just gives me even more respect for the people who train like this every single day, day after day, week after week. Their rest days are even intentional and time consuming because they have to do specific things to prepare them for many more hours of working out. It's just, it's a lot. Off season training is a little bit different because it's, you know, you're trying to decompress from the competition. Um, that whatever that competition is, for me it's been the games the past two years and you're kind of just trying to decompress and take what you learn at the games and really uh, focus on it. So this past off season I focused a lot on hypertrophy training, so that's a little bit more like traditional body bodybuilding, just to try to get really strong because I was moving up age groups. Um, and it definitely paid off, I, I definitely got strong. So it was, it was, um, it was definitely more targeted uh, weakness work as opposed to just broad general trying to get better at everything. Um, and then in season training is it going to be a little bit more volume. Uh, there's going to be a little bit less like, um, you know, strength training, um, unless that's something you really need to work on. But for me, it's 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 more so like conditioning. It's conditioning, 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 conditioning. So the in season is definitely a little bit more intense and a little bit more um, uh, broad as opposed to the off season being um, specific targeted weaknesses that you work on. All right. We're gonna do a heavy triple back squat. So I don't do a ton of lifting, really. Um, strength is something that's pretty good for me. So I focus more on conditioning, which is what we're gonna do here. We got two rounds for time of 150 double unders and 50 empty bar thrusters and a 35 calorie row. Do I have to use a 45 pound men's bar? Do I get a girl bar? You can do a girl bar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> Um, I would say too, it's probably, you would go 25 cal row. Okay. I think usually is what that is. Okay. Um, and then after the two rounds of that, we'll rest two minutes and do 50 toes of bar for time. What I see here is I'm holding onto the double under thing. I'm holding onto the thruster bar that I'm holding onto the rower. My grip's gonna be like. Oh yeah. So like, I'm not great at thrusters and I've worked really, really hard on toes of bar. So this is more of like building capacity and this is like a test. So it's like kind of see where I'm at. And then this is uh, trying to catch rabbit. So, <laughs> so for you, do you do GHD sit-ups a lot? I, yeah. You do? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. It won't tear me anymore. Cool. 
Um, so really? what we're gonna do is, obviously Tabata is eight rounds of 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds of rest. So we'll do GHU sit-ups, we're gonna rest a minute. We're gonna do hip extensions, rest a minute. And then we'll do D-ball cleans at uh, 150 and then the women's is usually 100. So what we have going on today is we have some gymnastics baseline tests. So <clears throat> we have max strict pull-ups and max strict handstand push-ups. Then we have a beefed up version of Helen. So we have <laughs> three rounds of a 600 meter air runner run, um, but running on the road is not too terribly different. Um, so anyway, 600 meter run, 21 kettlebell swings at a heavier kettlebell, so it'll be 70 for me and then 53 for you. And then it'll be seven ring muscle-ups um, for myself and you said you're going to do bar muscle-ups, so yes. good as always, it works. Then we're going to have five rounds of 500 meter skiered um, and then a 50 foot handstand walk, we rest one in between rounds. So that's just going to be like a little bit of a gymnastics piece, getting comfortable with walking with a higher heart rate, handstand walking with a higher oh, heart rate. Yes. And then. Um, 10 minute effort on the bike. It's gonna be minutes one to two is gonna be light, three to four is moderate, five to six moderate fast, seven to eight moderate, nine to 10 is light. So it's just like a cool down. Awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, so day three we got going on right now. We have uh, a little bit of a weightlifting portion um, and it's just gonna be focused pretty heavily on technique, um, at least for the first couple sets. So it's gonna be five sets every two minutes of one hang power snatch, two power snatches, and then three overhead squats. So that's just going to be focused a little bit more on position work. Um, especially you could tell it's only 60 and 65% for the first two sets. Sweet. And then we'll be building up to heavy. So it's going to be definitely uh, technique heavy. The next thing is we have a version of DT. Um, it's going to be five rounds for time, 12 deadlifts, nine overhead squats, and then six hang power snatches. Uh, and the bar is going to be 135 um, and then it'll be 95 for ladies. Um, and then the last thing we have is some just straight cardio. It's going to be three sets of 800 meter run. Mine's going to be on the runner, but you guys are more than welcome to run outside. Uh, the rest four minutes in between each set. And we're not looking to max out or anything. It's just going to be a moderate fast pace. Um, we're going to try to aim for negative splits. And the reason for that is because you know there's really no point in me running a, a three and a half minutes, a three minute 800 meter, and then running my rest of four minutes and yeah. four and a half minutes it's going to be about finding that sustainable pace so i'm going to try to hit a moderate fast pace for all three sets huh. and uh some get some significant rest in between so should be fun cool good day yeah good day day four three down well, it'll be four down one to go after this but uh finally some heavy lifting so i'm excited about that but we have a heavy single deadlift and then after that we're going to do a heavy set of 10 so whatever that is um, and then we're going to have a longer conditioning. It's going to be for time. We have a one mile run. And then we have 50 dumbbell front squats. So it'll be at 35s and then for, uh, it'll be 20s for the ladies. Uh, oh, for sweet. 400, it'll be 400 meter rec bag run with uh, 50 pounds for the guys and then uh, 35 for the ladies. Um, it'll be 30 chest to bar pull ups, 20 burpee box jump overs at 24 inches and 20 inches. And then Lastly, we're going to have a little bit like a legless rope climb conditioning. So we're going to have three rounds of 21 cal ski erg. Uh, I think it's going to be like, I think that would be 18 usually. Okay. Um, for, and then a 15 cal bike erg, which would be about 12 calories. Um, and then three legless rope climbs, which would be three legless rope climbs. <laughs> uh, last day, day number five. You've made it so far. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a heavy triple front squat. So we did a heavy triple back squat yeah. on Monday, and then to close out the week we'll do a heavy triple front squat. I think it's just to establish some baseline stuff for the future. And then the next thing is we have a certain popular chain store. I probably can't say the name. Um, two minutes on and two minutes off. So basically, every two minute interval, you start with nine wall balls and seven calories off. It might be five. I'll check. But um, nine wall balls and seven calorie assault bike. And then in the time remaining, so let's say it takes me 30 seconds, I'll have 90 seconds to begin work on 20 power snatches at 95, 20 power snatches at 115, 20 power snatches at 135. Basically, we have to continue working in the two minute on, two minute off format until all 60 power snatches are completed. Nice to get a break. Yeah, yeah. And then we have uh, push pull conditioning. So it's seven rounds for time of 15 push ups and 15 calorie rope. I'm looking forward to that. It should be fun. And then, here's the road kicker. Uh, you could think capacity wide for this one. Five minute EMOM, 20 second hang from bar, 40 second kettlebell, double kettlebell hold. No rest between reps or rounds. 
I said, basically. did I mention that my grip is my weakest part of my body? And this workout comes from at CapacityWatt on Instagram. You should check them out. It's a new project from Chris and Sean. Should be fun. Man, you know, I've had a, I've been crossfitting for, uh, at this point, almost eight years. Um, I've been competing for probably about five of those years, or maybe a little bit less than that. But uh, I always like to know what's coming next. I always like to know um, what I'm going to do next. And, and honestly, I, I don't know. Um, you know, I'm going to ride this wave out as long as I can. I, I understand that um, there comes a time in, in everyone's competitive careers that it's going to end. And I also understand that I'm young, but that I've been doing this for a long time. Like my, I am young, I'm 16, but uh, my CrossFit age is quite old. I've been doing CrossFit for um, half my life, almost, basically. Um, so I'm going to ride this wave out as long as I can. I, I plan to try to make the CrossFit Games in the 2020 season, and um, if there's still a CrossFit Games. And then I, um, you know, want to... Maybe see what I can do with this. Maybe tour around some sanctionals and uh, try to make a little bit, some little bit of living off of this. But that's this is definitely not my my life career plan. You know, I have other aspects that I want to attack. And right now, the, my focus would try to be becoming a physical therapist. Um, so f being physical and training and doing the CrossFit methodology will be something that I do until the day I die. Um, but as far as competing goes, um, I, I really have no clue how much longer I have. Uh, you know, I, I, I want to do CrossFit so that I can play with my kids when I'm 60, not so that I'm in a wheelchair when I'm 45. Um, I, I want to balance the, the health and the competitive side. So, you know, it's, it's interesting. It's going to be a good balance, but I'm, I'm excited to see what comes next. All in all, this was an amazing week and Cole did a great job of encouraging me to show up every day and conquer whatever challenge was in front of us and to really just give each day my best that I had that day and to leave everything on the floor. Seriously, thank you for watching this journey. It means so much to me and I love being able to experience new things and share that with people because isn't that what life is built around? Sharing experiences? I hope that it has encouraged you to challenge yourself and to just have fun with fitness. Oh, 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 oh.